Boop, boop. Hi, Gary Kaur from CigarAdvisor.com, and once again, it's time for fan mail. This month, I have a question from Tom Napolitano in Cold Spring Harbor, New York. He says, I'm a wine drinker who started smoking cigars about two years ago, and I always pair them with a glass of wine, usually a good Spanish Rioja. The reason for my question is, I've noticed that many cigars have wine-like names like Crianza, Reserva, Grand Reserva, and Grand Cru. Now, I know these terms have to do with how the wine is aged. Does the same apply to how the cigar tobaccos are aged? Well, Tom, you know, I, too, have always appreciated the connection between wine and premium cigars. And as it is with wine grapes, the year the tobaccos were harvested, their overall quality, the curing and fermentation process, and their aging all play a part in the body, flavor, and quality of the finished product. And in some cases, it's price. Now, the main difference is that for wine, the contents of the bottle come from the same barrels. For cigars, the tobaccos in a given blend may vary in age, not to mention that you have the filler tobaccos, the binder, and the wrapper leaf. Plus, there are a number of cigars that, like wine, have tobaccos that have been oak barrel aged. Wines that are a blend of other wines would probably have more in common with premium cigars. But for the purposes of this answer, let's just focus on the terms that you mention and how they apply to the Spanish Riojas that you like, and I have a Spanish Rioja right here. A Crianza is aged for one year in an oak barrels and an additional year in the bottles. A Reserva, like this one, is aged for one year in oak barrels and two years in the bottles. A Grand Reserva is aged for two years in oak barrels and three years in the bottles. Now, a Grand Cru is a term used for burgundies that signifies the grapes were grown in the highest quality vineyard locales or terroirs. Terroirs are defined by the growing conditions of the vineyard, such as the climate, the soil composition, irrigation, even the plot's position on the slope and its altitude. So for a Grand Cru, the quality of the wine is based on two things, the skills of the winemaker and the vineyard on which the grapes were grown. Okay, so now let's look at some cigars that are named with these wine-like designations. This is a Padilla Crianza Robusto. It has an all Nicaraguan filler core with an Ecuadorian grown Habano wrapper. I don't really know why they named it Crianza. Maybe it just sounded classy, but it's very likely that the tobaccos have been aged for at least two years, which is very common for a lot of premium cigars. This is an E.P. Carrillo New Wave Reserva Supremo. It has a Nicaraguan Dominican core, but what makes this cigar unique is that it has a very high priming Ecuadorian Connecticut wrapper, which is why it's also a little darker in color than your typical Connecticut wrapper. Now, if I had a guess, Maybe they named it Reserva because the year of the harvest was particularly good and only yielded so much usable wrapper leaf. Next, we have a Gran Habano Gran Reserva No. 5 2010. It's really a gorgeous cigar. And now, this cigar is blended with all vintage tobaccos from different regions of Nicaragua, ranging from 2003 to 2005, including its 2005 vintage Jalapa Corojo wrapper. As for the 2010 on the band, in some cases, that's just the year the cigars were rolled, so this cigar would be deserving of the name Grand Reserva, and might even qualify as a Grand Cru, in wine terms, that is. Speaking of Grand Cru, this is the Perdomo Grand Cru 2006 Sungrown Robusto. The core blend consists of a rare 2006 Nicaraguan bumper crop. After fermentation, the tobaccos were aged in Spanish cedar bins for an additional nine months. So in the case of this Grand Cru, it's not so much the plot in which the tobaccos were grown, of course, knowing Nick Perdomo, I'm sure it was excellent, but the quality of that particular tobacco harvest from 2006. So here's the deal. Although wine and premium handmade cigars have a lot in common, the difference is that for wine, the classification designation is much stricter. For cigars, it can be the length of time the tobaccos were aged, the quality or rarity of the wrapper, or just as cigar manufacturers have different names for similar shaped cigars, it may just be that these cigars are named Reserva, Grand Reserva, whatever, at their whim because it gives the cigar a certain air of exclusivity. Well, that's my take on the subject, so please leave a comment and tell me what you think. And we'll catch you next month on Fan Mail.